I'm TQ. I'm JQ. We're the Q Brothers. And this is Small Flower TV. Mm. Product review. All right. Um, we're talking diptyque. Uh, Volute is the name of the fragrance. And I've smelled this, and I just love, let me start out. As one of the best smelling guys I've ever met, it's kind of intimidating for Did me. Not me? No, no, no. It's I'm right here. Yeah. As one of the best smelling guys I've ever met, I set the bar pretty high for fragrance, so I'm kind of intimidated when I pick out a fragrance for me because I know I smell so good and I might not like it. So, um, <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So it's kind of intimidating and a little bit scary to pick out a fragrance. And I All right, have to kind of pants. Let me smell, <laughs> let me smell this Valudis. <laughs> so I, I smell this and I have not been able to stop smelling it. I'm kind of losing my mind. He's never smelled it before. So this you're going to get to witness his reaction. Tell me what you think, Jay. All right, ready? Yeah, you want to smell? Okay, you can go straight up. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go straight up. All right, here we go. I cannot stop. So, do you what? Give me first impressions or notes because I want to tell you something. I right, so don't know. First couple of notes. There, there's a slight powdery element at first, um, but that quickly goes into something much more masculine. I almost get pine tar, like a little bit. What about this? And I get a little bit of bike tire. <laughs> now think of think of. Uh, there, so volute refers, I guess, to there's uh, some floral aspects. To yeah, there's so so sure. from, from what I've learned about it and the, the bit I remember. Actually, like burnt lavender. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a little. Bit. Well, so let me tell you, volute refers to the wisp of smoke that curves in the air. Oh, and burnt. I got the burnt. But smell it again and think tobacco, like the smoothest pipe tobacco you've ever smelled. Right? There's tobacco as a main element in here. She explains why I like it. I like and then there's kind of, I don't know, to me I get like tobacco and honey or something there's like that. There's a sweet element. I feel like that's why I was going with sort of burnt lavender, which is like you get like a little of a floral thing. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's you. Um, but also, so the, the floral apparently is, there's a the powderiness, you got the powderiness, they say comes from a touch of iris in there. Hmm. And iris has a powdery. No. Yeah, but by, by no means is it feminine. No. I was gonna say it's 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 very cool. Oh, yeah, it, this is oh. cool. There's do you get also get I think of um, a little bit of uh, what is the big bad wolf? There's a little bit of hay in there, like there's almost like a hay or hay flower, and uh, and like I'm thinking like mild warm spices like saffron or something like that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm also. You know what I'm getting a bit of actually is that it feels like a sort of um, slightly more um, softer, balanced version of uh, Burning Barbershop a bit. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I know what you're saying with the smokiness and whatever. With the smokiness and the floral. There's, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's, there's and the powder of the classic oh. barbershop. That's what I mean. It's balanced though. It's much more, it's not as like slapping the face kind of. This yeah. is what a barbershop smells like. You know what I mean? Well, I think of that one as balanced, but that one's just higher volume. That's a high volume fragrance. This is a also. I think it's, it's meant to be bold. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Way, you know? I was gonna say, but I think it, I was not saying that with a judgment. Cause I'm no, but I, I just there's something about this. It reminds me of like leathery, leathery tobacco. It is super classy. classy. This is like the idea of going into an old library with guys smoking. Like you think of like going back a hundred years where like the you know, like scholars are sitting around with like a pipe hanging from their nose and there's books and leather rocking, leather chairs and couches and maybe they're like a snifter of brandy there. I just feel like this is the fragrance that they wish they could wear at that time. Or that's created from that memory. I, I think it. I'm going to start wearing this one. I know. I, I've been so excited. I'm not kidding at all. Um, it's Diptyque. It's uh, like Volute. It. It's available in an Eau de Toilette and an Eau de Parfum. Um, this little perfume comes in a ridiculously cool black cap and this what is amber that glass. Is this that more concentrated? Uh, the, the no, the, oh, the perfume is more concentrated. This is the concentrated one. This is the more expensive one. Um, mm. I, God, uh, that's good. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm good saying. Call, good yeah. call. Wow. I, I did I, teak once again. Just killing it.
<laughs> I mean, their, their stuff is <coughs> expensive, but to some extent, you get what you pay for. <laughs> you, you get what you, get what you call for. You get what you pay for. Yeah, you know? And uh, they, yeah, well, they never let you down, you know? Yeah, well, I think certain ones I love more than others, like every line. Well, like preference, but, but I'm just saying, they, they, their, their attention to detail and their yeah. attention to yeah. the balance of a fragrance is pretty astounding. Well, the amazing thing is, smell it off the bottle and you get the flowery aspect so much more. Huh. And then smell it on your skin and I get turns tobacco, tobacco, and tobacco, and tobacco and powder, right? Oh. But never, never feminine, but never, it's not strongly masculine. No, it's like, not, it doesn't feel like a, a woman could wear this. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't feel be, like a, you know. I, like find, a, I find this to be less masculine. Sorry, women who like musk, but certain musks that women wear, I find like I can't think of anything but they're wearing a man's fragrance when they're around me. But I feel like a woman wearing this one would be intriguing and interesting, but not manish, not masculine in that sort of way that I puts it. Well, I love it. Thumbs up. Yeah, I knew you'd like that. You want to split them? Because this sets out of my. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, yeah, I need a raise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do. Check it out. See ya.